The 23 local government chairmen elected under the umbrella of the People's Democratic Party in Benue State have vowed not to obey the directive to hand over the reins of power and proceed on a suspension recommended by the State House of Assembly. Details in this report. The suspended local government chairman met with Governor Hyacinth earlier on June 20 to turn in the report of the income and expenditure of their various domains. Politicking is over. Uh, I need to see exactly what they are doing at the local government to know um, if they have deficits, uh, if they are not up to it enough, uh, if they are inefficient, you know. I then I'll call them back again to the drawing table to do this. Um, I'm looking at what works, and what works is how to keep the system moving and the right thing that will bring growth to us. Um, they said dissolution, uh, that's not on my mind, you know, as I'm speaking. I want to get the best hands and the best mind and the best brains that can uplift Benue and take us to uh, the higher heights. Things, however, changed when the State House of Assembly received the audited reports which led to the House suspending them all. At a press conference, the chairman insisted they will not obey the directive to hand over their reins before the tenure elapses in 2024. We do not recognize the purported directives issued from the Bedouin State House of Assembly and the Bureau of Local Government and Chief Tansi Affairs that we and the entire elected legislative council of our respective areas have been suspended from office and we will not comply with any instruction thereto. We wish to, there should be respect as a law. In an event where a government cannot respect the law, we cannot accept that. So we have instructed our lawyer and by next week, the court is going to institute a contempt of court action against the aforementioned. The government, however, maintained that the suspension is to allow for unhindered investigation into the finances of the councils and not a sack. Even if they've gotten a judgment or a kind of uh, injunction restraining whosoever uh, they, they accused or whatsoever of sacking them, nobody has sacked them as far as the government of Reverend Father High Saint Imam Alia is concerned. Nobody has sacked them. They are only asked to step aside for a seamless investigation. Everywhere you go in develop, develop climbs and wherever you go that a seamless investigation is supposed to be carried out, there's no way you allow that person to be on seat. You will also remember that before this action was taken. While all eyes are on the outcome of the investigation, it is obvious that more drama may play out in the state as the chairman resists the suspension. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.